what's today's goal progression wise we are going to beat the game but who cares about that more importantly i am going to do the pepsi challenge on stream with the help of my little brother and also to make it fair i haven't drank pepsi or coke in the last 48 hours so i don't have like a reflex memory of oh that's coke no i purposely have not drank them I did drink some Baja Blast, but no Pepsi or Coke, so it's going to be a completely fair comparison, and I guarantee Coke will win. I will bet like 10 pre-sequel keys that Coke will win. What's the Pepsi challenge? The Pepsi challenge is when you drink Pepsi and Coke in a blind taste test, and you say which one you like better. Pepsi invented it as a marketing strategy to try to convince people that Pepsi was better, and they have these commercials like, oh, wow, turns out Pepsi was my favorite after all, but when you do it, uh, Coke should win, because Coke is better. Want Rack Hive back, huh? Shame. I've been doing some real interesting Rack Hive experience with her. Hate to see her go. But to heck with it. She's all yours. That's a- holy crap, there's so many. Why there's so many? What the heck? There shouldn't be that many. Corrosion. Am I an Alfred Hitchcock's famed film? One of our assignments in film school... No, it wasn't film school. I say oh, it was film school now. One of my assignments in video editing 101 at the local community college was we had a scene from the birds where birds yeah, attacked and we had to redo all the audio and make it sound like it was not the original scene. And somebody made it. There was like five seconds of a lady on a bench and some guy. I feel like it's important to specify guy. Some guy looped that for like five seconds. Like that five second footage, you just looped it like 20 times and he made her thinking about sex. Like he like went on a podcast about porn stars and like got some porn stars monologue and like played that in the background with like an echoey effect. And the teacher was like, uh, this very original idea. <laughs> and I thought they smelled bad on the outside. I just turned the quest into that guy's crotch. It's green, this gun you're using is green? Wait, is it? I mean, the gun is green, but is the rarity green? No, it's not. What are you talking? You almost got me. I was scared for a second there. I would have to spin the wheel. Oh, there's a clap. Oh, no. Team health regen. Oh, dang it. That definitely got activated. <sighs> Crap. Read five YouTube comments. Okay, I'm going to go on my channel and read the five most recent YouTube comments. Triducks Gaming says, Don't you mean sends a crap you said it before me? J Fire Lord says, Dr. Zed looks like my math teacher. My life says, T Dior Doug came up and he is now the zombie T D K D L C. William Hancock says, No bore is the most satisfying Borderlands weapon. And S S M says, I thought Scotty uploaded a Borderlands video, dot dot dot. Then I was disappointed. Haha, <laughs> I got him. <laughs> my Scotty Kilmer thumbnail tricked him. Man, 271? That's not very good. I could use a new shield. How about this one? PNG OBS standard unyielding shield 41649. Hey, pretty good. Not bad. Oh, but what about this one? PNG OBS standard unyielding shield 41649. That's way better. Are any of these the same blood splatter? There's two dots on top of that. Two dots. Yep. Okay. So that one and that one are the same. What about these two? Oh, man. Killing my way through Old Haven is tough work. I need a smoke break. <sighs> What the? Why is there a rumbling? Was that part of the story? Was it the lore? Did I miss something? Oh, well. Oh, what the? There was again. Oh, it's just the pump. Okay. So many bandit camps out here that no one ever looks at. We just drive past them. You know what? I always drive past these guys. Let's give them their day in the spotlight, shall we? All right, let's see. They got a ramp. Where does the ramp lead? Has a turn. Go all the way up and get a beautiful overlook of their camp. Their camp consists of some crates, two tent-like structures, uh, default building prefab. And, uh, oh, a red, a red chest. Hey, whoa. Am I the first person to ever open that chest? It seems likely. Go on, like, IGN Borderlands Complete Guide of All Red Chest. I bet you that one's not even on there. I always like the color palette of this area. Like, if I go into no clip mode and take some screenshots, they'd be some good wallpapers. Whenever I'm in this bandit camp, I always have, like, a childhood story to tell. Oh, okay, I got one. One time when I was very young, uh, my mom went to the farmer's market with me. And she was just gonna go get like some watermelon or something. So she left me in the car. And then when she left me in the car for like, it was like, it was like a couple minutes. Okay. It wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, you left your kid in the car. They're gonna die. Obviously, I'm still alive with no brain damage mostly. But she left me in the car. And while I was there, I like went into the front seat and started messing with the wheel. The car was off. So it was fine. But I like turned the wheel a little bit. And some guy like banged on the window. He was like, uh uh, no, you do not do that. Do not touch that. Okay. And I was like, oh, 
Because so I was like five. I was terrified. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, I almost cried. And he's like, don't touch the wheel. And he like walked away. And uh, the reason I remember that is because the guy who banged on the window looked exactly like the host of Nickelodeon Guts. What is Guts? Oh, Guts is, um, it, oh, it's like a Wipeout. Ever seen Wipeout? That show? It's that, but for kids. So it's a little less violent on the kids, which, is, which makes it pretty not entertaining, honestly. Like in Wipeout, they got that big red thing. It spins, you go, bam, that thing will like literally kill you. Ooh, Captain Flint burned alive. Wow. What a crappy way to die. <laughs> Artorius. Artorius. I can't find my friend Artorius. Have you guys seen him? Welcome back to Vaulty Vidja. Today, we are talking about the lore of Dark Souls Artorius. Artorius was a warrior of the Abyss. He wore cool purple armor. And if you get his armor, it looks kind of skinny on you, which is pretty lame. He has a dog named Sif or Sif, depending on how you're feeling that day. The dog holds a big sword and killing it is really easy, but it's sad because he kind of limps around before you kill him. Unless, <laughs> unless you've power leveled and you kill him in like three hits and the limping animation sadly never plays and you feel no remorse. Fun fact, Jessup was actually part of the Lance Royal Guard. He had some cool purple armor. But uh, once he joined the Crimson Raiders, Roland demoted the heck out of him. You should play Zero in a melee-only run. Look, just because Senza did a run does not mean I'm going to do the same run. I don't know where you guys got these crazy ideas that I copy all Senza's ideas. I've only copied like two max, okay? Corrosive artifact for Bloodwing. I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this, but... <sighs> Goodbye, my love. I joined the Crimson Raiders and they said I was gonna see the galaxy. I didn't come here to die on a stupid planet from an alien and a guy with a fire gun. Alrighty, I'm gonna sprint through this entire area and not go down once. Watch this. Shield, come back. Ah. Hey, Commandant Steel. Do you like my new cutscene? And no more the guy. Your cutscene is not very good. My cutscene is much better. Watch this. I will touch this thing and it goes whoosh. See more the guy. That's how you do a nice cutscene. Ah! Use Bloodwing for the last hit. <sighs> Fine. Get him, Bloodwing. Oh, she went after the stupid <laughs> that thing. Lame. Yeah, this is a really cool ending cutscene, but uh, what if we did the wheel instead? Fire! Yeah, because I'm rich. Thanks, handsome Jack. And thanks for the pre-sequel giveaway. Oh, yeah. All right, a guy named Pickles just won the pre-sequel key. Seems oddly appropriate. Congratulations, Pickles. I do have one more pre-sequel key left, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put that on a random frame in the YouTube video. So it's, it's going to blend into the sand, too. I'm not going to be nice about it. It's going to be really hard to find, but it is going to be in the video. So if you want a pre-sequel copy, go through this entire video frame by frame. And by the time you've done that, somebody else will probably have found it. I'm gonna go set up the Pepsi challenge. I'll be back in like a minute. Pepsi Man! Okay, I have here with me Obo Jr. Say hi, Obo Jr. Louder. Hi. There we go. Now the microphone ready. Okay, so he has Coke and Pepsi can, two identical cups. He's gonna go into another room, prepare them, bring them back out. I'm going to sip him, say which one's better. He's going to tell me that I picked Coke because obviously I'm going to pick Coke. There's no way I'm picking Pepsi. So uh, Obo Jr., go prepare these drinks for me, please. I don't pay him, but he gets college credit. Okay, I'm going to call this cup cup number one, okay? And this cup is cup number two. And then I'm going to drink them and say which one I like best. And then you reveal which one I was drinking, okay? Cup number one. I'm getting, I'm getting some vibes from it. All right, cup number two. Here we go. <laughs> they both taste exactly the same. Oh, crap. Uh, um, they're lukewarm. Maybe if they were colder, I'd be able to tell. All right, I'm making my decision. I prefer cup number two. Lean to the microphone. Which one is cup number two, Obo Jr.? Coke. Yes, haha. -ha! I was right. I never doubted myself for a second. Thank you very much, Obo Jr. Hey, Obo Jr., you got anybody you want to shout out? Uh, shout out to uh, Dawn in 35. Ooh, shout out to Dawn in 35. You heard it, Dawn in 35. This is going in the video. There's only one thing left to do. We had to visit my main man. They did taste exactly the same, though. Like, I couldn't tell a difference. I, I guess that the one was Coke based off the fact that it was less sweet. I feel like if they were cold, it would have been much different. But, like, lukewarm, both room temperature, they were both just, like, sugar syrup. Oh, oh my God. Did you see? <laughs> Dude, air mail. That poor Scythe, he got crushed by like 50 tons of car. Slither! What's going on, man? How you doing? It's been a while. You been doing good? I just did a whites only play, let me tell you. It was, it was uh, wasn't too bad, actually, you know. I can't really complain. Destroyer took a while, but... So, so how have you been? How you doing? How's the family? Okay, while Slither do be doing his thing, though, let's, uh, let's just spin the wheel again. You know, why not? 
Farm Underdome times 10. Why am I not surprised? Pet Slither. He's a good boy. Okay. Oh, little Slither. Oh, wah, wah, wah. One, two, ten. What do you think, Barrel Guy? Was that a fun run? Did you enjoy that? No. Oh, geez. The frame rate's getting worse and worse. Oh, man. I feel it coming. I can't stop it. Randy, please. Randy, don't do it. 